between that and uh, Akira, um, those two were uh, extremely influential uh, to everything, to Hollywood movies, to graphic art, to um, tattooing, to uh, industrial music, to, uh, you know, it's been extremely influential. I think, if I remember correctly, you know, I saw the, I saw that, um, that first film, uh, the animated film. I think I was maybe 14 or 15, and I think I saw it on VHS. I kind of had never seen anything like it. Um, and a lot of the people, a lot of people who I respected, artists that I respected, um, were really in, into it. She's, she's, been, um, she's been lovely. She's been uh, um, really wonderful really generous and um, yeah I think I think we had a good uh, chemistry um, I think it was because it's really obvious when there isn't and when there isn't so well I, I re-watched the original film uh, and I was really surprised on uh, on how um, current it was still, it was, it was almost, it, you know, it felt uh, very much like, uh, you know, it just felt completely current. So the world is complicated and scary and um, e extremely e exciting uh, and full of evil and full of um, good. I mean, it's, it's, you know, like the world we live in. You know, essentially, I think it's about this woman figuring out, you know, who she is and, you know, what it is to be human. And then ultimately deciding to, um, to fight for humanity. So I think um, I think it, it, it has the potential to be really exciting um, and really moving. And that's what I hope they get out of it. I think uh, it's, it's always challenging, you know, it's always challenging to, um, to stay focused. This, this character was, was really challenging because I realized that uh, it's interesting when when you're when you're developing a character for sci-fi. Uh, it's kind of like an open door. I mean, you can do anything. So, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of variables. Um, but with um, with Kuze, you know, I worked a lot on his voice, how he would speak. I worked a lot on how he would move, so I made um, some rules about the way he could move. Um, and certainly his backstory, you know, I wrote pages and pages and pages of backstory because he, he was such a strange um, character that uh, I, I just didn't, I didn't know uh, any other way to do it. I, I'd said to them, like, uh, I know that there's going to be certain stunts and I just want to make myself available um, so that we can work together because um, so much of it had to do with movement that if the stuntman was going to be doing um, certain things, uh, I didn't want them to be out of character. Some of the um, the movements, the way that uh, Kuze would walk, I based on that and some modern dance and some ballet. So it was like boxing, uh, uh, ballet, and modern dance. Fascinating. And um, I would just listen to Massive Attack 
all the time, basically. Hey Lisa here, so are you a movie lover? Well, in this day and age we see hundreds of movies a year in numerous genres like action, comedy, romance and more. Some of these movies are great and some just don't live up to our expectations. For all you movie lovers out there, here are some interesting facts from movies that you might or might not know. In the movie Carrie, the end of the movie was shot in reverse order, a technique of the film to make scenes look more ghost-like. A close viewing of the film will show cars moving in reverse. What do the 101 Dalmatians and Wendy from Peter Pan have in common? The 102 characters are the only characters in Disney's past to have both of their parents present and alive for the whole course of the movie. Gone with the Wind producers were fined $5,000 for allowing obscenities in the film's dialogue. The offensive and expensive word, damn. One of the films Will Smith is best known for almost didn't happen. The actor didn't want to participate in Men in Black until his wife persuaded him otherwise. In the film Monsters, Inc., Boo has a woody doll. That's the famous cowboy from Toy Story. Gilderoy Lockhart from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets was based on a former boyfriend of writer J.K. Rowling. I Know Who Killed Me, starring Lindsay Lohan, has had the most Razzie Awards ever given to a film. Now, the Razzies are awards for the worst in movies. So, did you know any of these facts? Did you find them interesting? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.